في ساحة للعلم كنا نلتقي والحب والإخلاص زاد قلوبنا Talha radiallahu anhu, he tells the story of his own Islam. He's from the same tribe of Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu, the tribe of Taim. And he was a tradesman. So he says that he was in Syria when he saw that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi had left Asham and a monk had informed Talha radiallahu ta'ala anhu that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam was indeed a messenger of Allah. So Talha made his way to, back to Mecca. And he asked the people, he said, what happened while I was gone? So they said, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has claimed prophethood. So Talha radiallahu anhu, he went to his relative, Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu. And he said, have you heard about what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying? And he said, yes. And Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu said, he is calling to the truth and you should follow him also. So Talha said, I became Muslim. Now Talha and Abu Bakr were both high men in their society. Talha radiallahu anhu being younger, he was only 18 years old. But both of them would have to be tortured. And what the Quraysh would do with the high people in society is they wouldn't torture them out in public, but they would assign them to their relatives. So the person that was in charge of, of torturing both Abu Bakr and Talha was Nawfal ibn Khuwaylid, the brother of Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha. The specific characteristic, the specific trait that always stands out is the trait of Ihsan, pure excellence. Talha radiallahu anhu excelled in everything that he did. But the specific incident that you look at with Talha radiallahu anhu to truly understand his excellence and his ihsan and his always going overboard, always going, going, you know, going a step further to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was the day of Uhud. The day that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was, was hurt, free, was, was beaten, was hurt, had, his, had the, the rings of his helmet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam driven into his cheeks, had his front teeth knocked out sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When Talha radiallahu ta'ala anhu heard that the Prophet sallallahu was being attacked, he ran to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he defended the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so much so that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he would say later on, he would say, you should have seen me on the day of Uhud. On my right was Jibreel alayhi salam, on my left was Talha radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And in fact, Talha, may Allah be pleased with him, when he ran to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was being attacked, an arrow was shot at the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Talha radiallahu ta'ala anhu extended his hand and he, and he allowed that arrow to hit his hand and because of that, his hand became paralyzed. He then took his other arm and he put the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam over his shoulder and he guarded the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and tried to escape that area where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was being attacked and his daughter, she says that my father on that day suffered 24 wounds to his body. When Talha radiallahu anhu finally took the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to safety, he laid the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam down and then he fell unconscious because of all of the blood that was coming from him. Abu Bakr and Sa'ad, may Allah be pleased with them both, they said, we ran to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam directed us to go to Talha radiallahu anhu. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was there and he was just staring at Talha radiallahu anhu. And he was just, just admiring the effort that Talha radiallahu ta'ala anhu put in. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said something very special about Talha. He said right then and there, مَنْ أَرَادَ أَنْ يَنْظُرْ إِلَىٰ شَهِيدٍ يَمْشِي عَلَىٰ رِجْلَيْهِ فَلْيَنْظُرْ إِلَىٰ طَلْحَةُ بْنُ عُبَيْدِ اللَّهِ Whoever wants to see a martyr, a walking and living martyr, walking on his two feet, then let him look at Talha radiallahu ta'ala anhu and admire him. So subhanAllah, you imagine he already had those nicknames and he also now gains the nickname of the walking shaheed, the living martyr. And Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, in fact, when he used to look at the day of Uhud, when he used to reflect on the day of Uhud, he said, Talha. The day of Uhud is the day of Talha radiallahu ta'ala anhu. You know, because of how special uh, the sacrifice of Talha radiallahu anhu was that day.